who's going to stand up to that, you know, force of nature. So it's kind of. Man, and unfortunately, yeah. obviously, one person that I guess steered the ship, like you said earlier, that reference at the time with the friend group and everything, and obviously he was more around because he wasn't, you know, he didn't have his own brand, and at this point, right before he passed away, obviously he was ahead of Louis Vuitton, so he was even much more busier, but that person's not around for Kanye, you know, uh, Virgil, unfortunately, so it's like, it's it's a, it's an interesting thing, but... Well, like, like Tremaine said, you know, he fired him, Yes, so... That's crazy. I mean, he just, I mean, he fired all of us. So, so when it came to your situation, uh, was it like individualized or was it like you're all gone or these three people are gone? What was your, because I remember reading upon it, like you chose to, to quit, but then was it separate from the Donda? Did you quit like just the uh, blogging space? What was it that, what was that moment? Um. Well, I didn't quit. I mean, it w- I was, I, I would consider like really carefully, like, you know, we don't need you anymore. <laughs> it was so yeah. Essentially, we all got fired or let go at different points. You wow. know, part of the you know, the Donda team that you know everybody kind of knew at one point. Was it emails? Was it like a call? No, I was going into the Calabasas office, and luckily, like I had there were two you know really sweet friends that I had that work with you know work with the A, and they sat me down, and you know we just kind of had a conversation, and the conversations like you know it's like it's your last day, and I was like. You know, I actually like teared up, and yeah, I would and they're like, "Oh man, you know, they're like you, you're taking it badly." And I was like, "No, it's like you know, I've been waiting for this day for a long time." <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, "I'm kind of free." <laughs> like I felt like a weight had been kind of lifted off my shoulders, and like yeah. a lot of people would be like, you know, I don't know so many kids that want to work for Kanye, so they're like, "Why would you feel that way?" But I mean, at the end of the day, it's like you spend eight full years and you think every day is kind of like your last day because you're just working as hard as you can to, yeah. to you know, do the best work for somebody that's like more than demanding and expects like the best from everybody. So you just think at any point you're going to get fired, you know, because wow. you never knew. <laughs> but yeah, at that yeah. point, I was like, I was ready. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was yeah, like, there's yeah. other life out there yeah. to be lived. So. And you transitioned to doing, like, more of your own thing. So instead of, like, having maybe yeah. that awkward moment of, like, hey, I don't want to work here no more, et cetera, you got it expedited with that situation. You were like, yeah, hey. it, was, it was great. Came back here. I started my own studio. Um, Joe Perez Studio. Yeah, I had a lot of great contacts. Um, so it was kind of... You know, it was relatively easy to get to get work at first, and kind of built my portfolio up, and uh, and um, now I'm I'm repped um, by OCA, which is you know they're they're great, uh, you know, so I don't have to deal with any of the money stuff anymore, <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> or the contracts or anything. You know, That's I can awesome. just strictly focus on creative. Man. You know, kind of frees you up. And then I also um, I've started an agency um, uh, with two other amazing people. Um, who are my partners, uh, and it's called Works, and it's Works. located in New York, and uh, we take on a lot of, like, really cool uh, um, corporate work, and we're, I mean, we're actually working on a music project right now, so it's, like, just really cool stuff. Wow, and when it came to then that transition of you being, you know, fired, was it pre the Virgil firing, or was it after? <laughs> like, what was, like... It sounds so harsh, were man. You <laughs> were you the last one to go? Like, what was... <laughs> um, I, I was somewhere in the middle, Okay. so... But I had a funny text conversation with Virgil after it, like the day I got fired. I went back to my apartment in, in Calabasas, and uh, and I was like, just texted him. I'm like, I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> and he wrote back, me too. <laughs> oh, my God. He's like, Jeez. oh, no, he said, sorry. I mean, he essentially said that. He said, we're in the same boat. We're in the same boat. Yeah, and I said, "No way, man! You're in a you're in a carnival cruise liner, and I'm I'm on a buoy in the middle of the ocean hanging <laughs> on." <laughs> <laughs> and you yeah, yeah, just like laughed at that. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, it's but he was like, we're in a, "Yeah, we're in a, both in a mean, boat, but a different different he had sizes." Yeah, off white and like yeah, I was like, "Yeah, it's a little bit different." <laughs> 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 but I love you. <laughs> oh man, yeah, no, that's awesome. Yeah, that, that's that's crazy. You gonna love me for my ambition.